Hey, what's up? It's uh, Dale L. Roberts. It's been probably forever and a day since I've actually posted up a video of some sort. And uh, I wish I could give you some kind of excuse, some kind of reason that would really justify my, my absence. But I will say this, it's because I'm focusing on sometimes some things that I find of the utmost priority. And one of the things that are utmost priority, obviously, should be health. This is for everybody. Health. Because without good health, how can we be able to sustain life? At least a good quality of life. So, you're probably saying, if health's been my second priority, then what the fuck have I been doing this whole time? I'm writing books, okay. Producing other books as well, outside of the health and fitness genre. But if I'm producing health and fitness books, and I'm not working out consistently, and I'm not showing results consistently, and I'm not leading by example, then exactly what is it all for? It's like me blowing hot wind out there. Granted, I'm not a big pile of shit by any means, but I can tell you this much, I've seen better days. It was not too long ago that a friend of mine, she, uh, she called to light on something. Gosh, it's been a couple of years now. And she saw my legs. At a very vulnerable point in my life, that particular time, which could be any time for anybody, but at that particular time, she called to light that I had chicken legs. But you know what? I didn't want to fucking hear it. I didn't. It's kind of like any of you guys out there that got the big bellies. Maybe he's got the floppy arms or the huge jowls. Or the people that are just straight up out of shape. You don't want to hear that shit. It's like someone coming over there and kicking your balls. Punching in the stomach. Throwing dirt in your eyes. But you see, here's the thing. The only reason why it hurts so much is because it's a reality. When you can be able to accept that reality and start to really look in, introspectively look in, why would somebody say that to me? Why would somebody say that to me? I don't have a big gut. I don't have big jowls or floppy arms. I've got chicken legs. And man, there ain't no shaking around it. Everybody's seen those little memes online, skipping leg day. Well, I know this. I've skipped a few leg days, not all leg days. But let's just be honest. When you phone it in, you phone it in. Just because you can be able to crank out 100 squats at a time doesn't mean it's going to make any difference. You look top heavy, you're just top heavy. Walking around on little toothpick twigs. And so when I finally was able to say, you know what, fuck it, I got chicken legs. Instead of just saying and accepting it and saying, well, pff, mediocre is what I shoot for. Oh, it's my genetics. I really thought back to a lot of the things I've learned. What I learned was back in... 2004 and 2005, a number of doctors said to me, you'll never be able to wrestle again. Thought it was the end of my world. But then, proven wrong. 2006, I was back in training in the ring. And hell, my back held out until 2008. Blew out again. Funny thing is, though, same group of doctors, they said, you know what? We tell you not to wrestle again, but we know you just go against everything we said. Oddly enough, I actually said, no, I won't do it again. And it was about that time that I was at ooh, pretty good shape. Maybe a little bit of a gut on me, but I was a pretty big dude, 220. Beefy legs. Oh, good Lord. It's because I trained the shit out of it. But as time kind of went on, life gets in the way as it does for everybody. 
I went back to my old habits, going top heavy, forgetting about what exactly propels me forward, what gets me moving physically. It's those legs. So my conditioning sucked. You want to know why? My chicken legs suck. I found that I was starting to put on a little bit of extra weight on my midsection. It's because my legs suck. The area that has the most muscle tissue on the body should be on your legs. Not there. I may as well be straight up a peg leg from my butt right on down to my ankle. So what the fuck am I supposed to be saying here anyways? So I'm cooling down. Got these rubber legs. I crushed my legs. You see, freaking drenched in sweat. Getting a good cool down after my leg routine. And I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. But I had to get on here. I had to get something on my chest. And I'm gonna do this every fucking day if I have to. If you get offended by some F words and shit this and fuck that and cunt whatever, you might wanna check out. Cause this, this is me. That's how I talk. People know exactly how I am. So if you like my videos, great. If not, then fuck off, all right? But otherwise, if you're here, join me. Get behind me. Come with me. You got chicken legs. Let's get those fuckers growing. If you got a gut on you, let's shake that shit off. If you got flappy arms, let's get that shit firmed up. Start feeling good about yourself. Then maybe we can all just come on along on this big ride. Enjoy whatever time we got left on this planet. Check me next time. Thanks for tuning in.